Now, training is an interesting thing. This is a training class. You understand that this is a training class. Did you know that every day, as you're moving through the day, you are training people? You really are. Okay, let's say that you, let's go to your home for a second, okay? How many of you live with somebody else? Oh, we have a lot of people that live with people. Do you know that you're training this person all the time? Yeah. If, if, whether you know it or not. But see, if they're, do, does anybody have somebody that you live with that does things that are kind of irritating to you from time to time? Okay, when they do things that are irritating to you, if you let them to continue to do those things, you are training them to do it. Now, why would you want to train people to do things that are irritating to you? Now, there is a different, now, what I recommend if you want to train somebody is you use something called negotiation. Okay, now I teach negotiation skills, and a lot of people think about negotiation as something that you do, like if you're buying a car or something like that. But no, negotiation is a part of human relationships. The best relationships are ones in which we learn how to negotiate. Now, there's a difference between nagging and negotiating. Can somebody explain to me the difference between nagging and negotiating? Nobody knows? Nagging is just uh, kind of reinforcing things you don't like over and over again. Yeah, it tends to go over and over again. Changing. It tends not to work, right? It it. Nagging is telling somebody what you don't like about what they're doing or what you would like them to do, and it's just telling them. It's a one-way communication, nagging. And a lot of times they'll just turn it off and they, they're not listening, not paying attention. Negotiation is getting agreement. You know, it's interesting, the FAA, I fly on airplanes all the time, the FAA has finally figured out nagging doesn't work, they, they changed it to negotiation. You sit in an exit row, I always try to sit in an exit row, and what they used to do is the flight attendant would stand there and they would say, they would say do you realize that you're in an exit row and nobody's looking at them, they're all reading their newspaper or they're in their computer. Do you, we're going to need your help in case you're in it. They're totally ignoring them. This is called nagging. Now I would hear the same thing over and over again. The FAA finally said you have got to get a verbal agreement. And so I just, I just flew back from D.C., and, and, and this was a flight attendant who really took this new regulation seriously. I'm sitting in the exit row with my wife, and there's other people there, and there's this guy sitting next to us, and he's got this newspaper up like this. And she says, do you all realize that you're in the exit row? And the guy's got his newspaper up like this. She, she pulls his paper down. She says, sir, I asked you a question. You need to give me eye contact, sir, and a verbal agreement. Do you realize you're in the exit row? I'm going, whoa. <laughs> And then she says, are you willing to help if, you, if, if assistance is required? She goes, every person has to say yes. I need a verbal yes. And then she says, do you speak English to everybody? And everybody has to give a verbal yes. Okay? And she goes through this. Now, why is the FAA doing it? Because people just ignore it when you nag. And it's important in case something happens. And this woman took it seriously. Okay? Now, I take it seriously, too. I do train my wife. And she trains me. And we negotiate. She has negotiated with me about leaving socks on the floor, which she doesn't like if I leave socks on the floor. So she's basically say, well, you put the socks on the floor, then I pick them up and put them in the hamper. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. Would you agree to put your socks in the hamper when you take them off your feet? She's waiting for an agreement. See, I taught her this. When we first met, she didn't know about negotiation. She only knew about nagging. And I taught her about negotiation, and now she negotiates everything with me. And you know, the interesting thing is, when you're not used to negotiation, it's like, whoa, where's this coming from? When you finally get used to it, it's like, wow, we actually get agreement. Negotiation is about talking about how things are going to be going forward, instead of just letting things get irritated. I had a woman in my class one time, she said, I'm a landmine, or she said, I'm a doormat or a landmine, depending on how long people have been walking on me. And you will never know. Walk on me, okay, I'll take it. Walk on me, okay, I'll take it. Build up the pressure, build up the pressure. One day you're going to walk on me, and I'm going to explode in your face. And I said, gee, that's not good for you, because you're walking around with that pressure inside. That's called stress. You know, it's a lot less stressful to be able to communicate with somebody before the pressure builds up. 